you can see the energy fee is all there is in the 25 cents per kilowatt hour but the, the point is that if I wanted to leave it here for another two hours to get that final 20 23 percent of the battery they're not going to um, put you in a penalty for that you know you are gonna continue to get charged that 25 cents a kilowatt hour and the only reason to move it would be because you know that uh, someone else might want to use it and as you can see that's the only station welcome to another coffee in kilowatts a weekly dive into ev topics and views news and anything else we can get our hands on uh, today we're off to wakefield massachusetts a town just north of boston which has had recently a new charge point express uh, unit installed in the center of town what makes it notable aside from the fact that we don't get a whole lot of new dcfc installed every day is uh, that it's charged by kilowatt hour so instead of being a fee per minute you are charged on the uh, energy that you uh, have delivered so we'll look at that it's in the center of a town and it might give an example of why there are some cases where per kilowatt hour uh, charging may not be the way to go even though that is what california has mandated and what a lot of people prefer and um, there are some arguments against it and that's one of the things we'll look at in this video as well as the arguments against uh, per minute pricing street just going back there i don't know how much of it i caught but it's a you know decent sized little town it's a suburban commuter town of boston a place you could park and have dinner drinks coffee lunch whatever you choose you might linger here that's a reasonable assumption and that's going to be important to the uh some of the stuff we talk about today but we'll get plugged in and we'll uh, start to chat we're right here brand new unit kilowatt charger with uh, pricing per kilowatt hour of 25 cents so we'll get plugged in and uh, chat about why that can be very good but it could also have some problems so starting at 16 percent and wait for this to figure itself out Hovers around 12, and then bang up to 43, 44. Yep, so that's your usual on a 50 kilowatt charger. The most I will usually see is 44 kilowatts. But the point here is that we're looking at the pricing. These are cool units, I like them. You have the in use sign at the top, which goes green when you unplug to show it's available. But you can see over there is the main street. We'll take a little walk around in a sec just to see what's around. You've got residential over there, but there were, as I say, coffee shops, dining establishments, places you would just do your daily chores, you know, if you were visiting here for whatever reason to get some stuff done, to go for lunch, um, work remotely, whatever. Um, so you could but you could also want to linger. There is um, a little bit further up from here, a uh, lake and some local parks, that kind of thing. So you may want to hang around. Okay, so that's the kilowatts covered. We're up to 21% and still charging well above 40 kilowatts here and coffee. So let's chat about the pricing um, per kilowatt hour. That is obviously what uh, California is moving to. They had a decision tail end of 2019 where they will mandate it's over an extended period of time that i'll overlay on the screen here but it's going to be eventually that you need to um, price per kilowatt hour there 
and also there are things about having credit card readers and the various you know elements of charging infrastructure and how you manage payment that is going to put some pressure on uh, charging networks to figure that out including tesla who don't have uh, credit card readers on their um superchargers because you just plug in and the car figures it out for you so there's there's some things for everybody to work out there issue that you have with um per minute charging is obviously that if the car is charging slowly because it's either cold or it's high state of charge um could be a nissan leaf you know an older one that had problems with uh fast charging, um, cold again, all a bunch of different things that can impact your charge rate. There, the per minute uh, charging causes a problem because you have, you know, a product that's being delivered by kilowatt hour, but you're being charged per minute. So if you can't get the kilowatt rate, the power rate up, then you are in trouble. You know, if you're, if you're charging for half an hour at uh, 50, 55 kilowatts, you're going to get a solid amount of your battery back, you know, 25, 30 kilowatts. Um, but if you're charging in that lower uh, at 15, 20 kilowatts, um, that's uh, going to cost you twice as much, take you twice as long, cost you twice as much, um, potentially. So you have that issue um, where it's just not going to be fair to the, the driver, depending on model. So, of course, you know, Tesla charges where it can by kilowatt hour, and some uh, some states don't allow that. You know, that's part of utility pricing and you're not allowed to call yourself a utility, but there are a number of states that do allow it, including Massachusetts, and obviously this station is one example of that. So when you have this uh, 25 cents per kilowatt hour, very fair rate, when you're paying per kilowatt hour, it, uh, it has some drawbacks. You know, if you're in a place that's on a highway, understand, you know, a rest area where you just, there's nothing to do, you want to charge the car and get back on the highway, that makes sense. You know, it's, uh, it's jump off the highway, get your charge and go you're not going to be hanging around there any longer than you need to but so you know the turnaround is self-managed in that case um when you're in a place like this which is you know a little town place you could come to spend an afternoon potentially would be to say well it's 25 cents per kilowatt hour you know i'm not going to be charged anything over what i uh, take in so i could leave it on this charger for another four five hours from from what i can tell there isn't any idle fee or any penalty for lingering so that's where the problem kicks in if this is you know this is the only charger here there is no there are level twos dotted around town but this is the only fast charger so if i'm not at the car and i'm not mindful of the the need to keep the turnaround speed on these units high um i could occupy this charger and just stay on it for as long as you know i need to get to 100 percent at the energy that i'm adding at 90 plus percent at a rate of 12 13 kilowatts um, that starts to become hogging the charger and there are issues with turnaround, you know, especially in these locations where there's no redundancy. There isn't another fast charger here, so this could be the only one that someone has the option to go to. Now again, they can go over to a level two, but really that should be you at that point, right? If you're getting above 80, 85% and there's level twos around, you don't have any time constraints, that should be where the driver who's charging slowly should move over to the level two if possible and let the person who needs to charge at that lower state of charge to get the the full power level they should be allowed to take that charger having talked about uh, hogging charges i should move and be on my way um this is relatively new i'm not even sure too many people know about it but uh it's in the app it's in plug share so we'll uh unplug and free it up for someone else So that's that uh, per kilowatt hour pricing, um, definitely attractive in a lot of scenarios, but there are downsides. It's not all a clean cut uh, decision that it's the only way to go. Uh, we don't want to be tying up charging spaces, especially at the moment where charging infrastructure is in its early days. But at the same time, there are certainly many more uh, inequitable ways to charge and, you know, per minute pricing with different power tiers that uh, don't always reflect what you actually get those can be a problem too not not making a big case for permanent pricing here just kind of balancing out the argument that there is only uh one way to go with this i want to hear your opinions obviously as usual uh per kilowatt hour pricing would you recommend it in every circumstance do you think that there are times when we uh should go with per minute instead of per kilowatt hour 
Do you think charging by power level is fair, as Electrify America does? Um, let us know in the comments anything related to uh, the cost of charging and uh, how it should be administered. Interested to hear your opinions. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a happy, healthy day, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.